guys, what's up? My name is Sabah Asif and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, first of all, I know I've been gone for a really long time. No Christmas look, no New Year's Eve look. Please forgive me. I'm very disappointed in myself as well, but I'm back again and now I'm going to be filming as much as I can and, and be consistent. At least, you know, this new year, that's what my aim is. And with that being said, wishing you guys a very, very happy new year. Hope this year brings you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness and is just filled with a lot of great stuff so i filmed this look right here like you guys can see i used a lot of sigma beauty products i just got them in pr and i really wanted to play with them basically just play with makeup not just sigma just makeup and i haven't done a look in quite some time so you know i'm back again i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys do enjoy my videos and my vibe please do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video and comment down below your thoughts and now without further ado if you guys want to know how to achieve this look just stay tuned and keep watching okay guys so for my foundation i'm gonna go in with my two favorite foundations at this time which is the super stay which is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage uh, foundation. This is in the shade. This is in the shade Warm Sun 36. And I'm going to be mixing it with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Barcelona. Now, this is a matte finish and this is a more radiant finish. So, I want the best of both worlds. So, I'm going to be mixing these two. You know guys, lately I've been wearing very less foundation. I don't know, it's just, I don't know what it is, but I'm just not liking the feel of it. Okay guys, so I'm also going to be using a lot of the Sigma Beauty products because I was recently sent a lot of them in a PR package. I'm going to be using their F80 Air Flat Kabuki brush. I, You guys know I don't usually like using face brushes for my foundation, but yeah, it's more like a stippling Kabuki brush. Let's just give it a try. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know how to use a brush. I'm probably like doing this so wrong. I think I definitely have a more full coverage look with the brush, but um, there are like, I, I don't know how to use it. I think maybe that's why I have like some streak marks in here. So I'm going to go ahead with my blender as well. But let me just bring this foundation down. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Pure Beige. And I'm going to be mixing it with the Too Faced Born Spray Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. So I'm going to be mixing these two. You guys have seen me done this before. I love the mixture of these two. And yeah, I'm going to use this as my concealer. So the reason I use two concealers is basically because this LA Girl Pro Concealer is like a shade darker to mine and it kind of acts like a color corrector so since this is only gonna correct my under eyes i'm gonna be using a, the lighter shade to brighten it up to set my concealer in place i'm gonna be using the makeup revolution luxury powder in the shade banana Okay guys, now we're going to go in with bronzer and for my bronzer, I'm going to be using my favorite duo as well. I'm going to be using the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and the Milani Big Bronzer in the shade Golden. Now moving on to blush, I'm going to be using another Sigma Beauty product. This is the Aurora Powder Face Powder Blush in the shade Nymphaea. I'm pronouncing it 100% wrong, but look at the packaging, so beautiful. And that is the blush. It also comes with a really pretty big 
mirror, which I like. Okay, so what I do like about this blush is that it's really subtle. Like you can see here, it looks like a very hot pink, but on my cheek, it's going on very, very soft and it's not like super, super pigmented. With blush, you need really less pigment and you just kind of build it up. And that's exactly how this blush is. So I kind of like that. Okay guys, so now I'm quickly gonna be doing my brows off camera and be right back. Okay guys, so the brows are done. Uh, I'm just gonna be setting them using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Okay guys, so when I got this in the Sigma Beauty PR package, I was beyond happy and excited. I've seen this palette online and I've been wanting to buy this but just never really got the chance to go ahead and buy it. So this is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. It is absolutely beautiful. So this is the packaging. It comes with a leaflet like this with all the shades at the back. And yeah, this is how the palette looks like. Again, you know, you have all the shade names and shade colors at the back. Open it, you get a mirror. So it's a perfect travel friendly mirror and yeah look at the shade in this palette like you have your neutrals and you have your pops of colors i think like to me this is a perfect on the go travel eyeshadow palette let me just clear the air out by saying that sigma beauty is not paying me to talk good stuff about them or they're not paying me to do this video i just got this in the pr and i'm just you know showing and sharing my thoughts and feelings about these products with you guys so yeah this is how the eyeshadows look like super neutral beautiful pops of colors so i am going to be using the uh, very lightest shade in the palette called humble which is this white cream shadow and i'm going to be putting this on my brow bone Okay, now I'm going to be using the shade Toasty and I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of Henna. So Toasty is this really light brown eyeshadow and Henna is this really rich chocolate brown shadow. So now I want to use like a more thinner brush so that's where the Sigma Beauty's E45 small tapered blending brush comes into play and let's just test out how this feels on my eyelids. So I'm going to be using the shade Rogue which is this reddish cranberry shade and I'm just going to focus this in my crease. Once we have that done, I'm gonna go in with this shade After Hours, which is a hockey green shade. I'm gonna be putting this very precisely in my outer corners. Okay guys, I know I really want to play with the green one, but for now I'm going to go in with the shade Bittersweet, which is this off gold for eyeshadow. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Sigma Sineosti Lash uh, Mascara. I already used it, but I forgot to film it, so that's how the one looks. And now for my liner, yeah, I completely forgot about the liner and I went in with my mascara. So let's just hope I don't kind of ruin how I put my liner. liner. So this is the Sigma Liquid Pen Eye Liner. It is really, really pigmented. So yeah, let's just see how it goes. Okay guys, so this liner is shiny, which I am not a fan of. I don't like 
shiny eyeliners. I like it to be matte. But I guess it's okay. Moving on to lashes, I'm gonna be using my Queen Bee Coco Lashes. All right guys, we have the lashes on and the look looks a lot more complete, but we still have a lower lash line to do. So I'm gonna be putting some black uh, liner on my waterline, like a kajal or something. And then I'm gonna be coating my lower lashes with mascara and our eyes are finally done. Did I sleep away the day cause I was tired Or did I get tired cause I slept too much Slept too much I'm gonna be using my favorite Laura Geller highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey Okay guys, last but not the least, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter and I'm just going to put a very slight amount in the inner corner of my eye. So from Sigma, I do have a lipstick which is in the shade uh, Clover, it's the Power Lipsticks but this is a very pink shade and a very satin finish which I don't think would go with this look that's the reason I'm not gonna be using their lipstick so I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade girlfriend